Hello Whiskey Taste Buds, Adam here with Blue Collar and Scholar uh, 12 Drams of Christmas and this time we're talking day 3, December 15th. Uh, yeah, so so far we had a beautiful, on day 1 we had a beautiful uh, That Boutique Whiskey Company Springbank 19 year old and then uh, yesterday we enjoyed a Batch Strength Glen Grant 15. Uh, so what's what's in store for us today? Well. Here we go. There's the color. Beautiful color. Showing my dirty fingernails. Just got home from work. Mm. So for a lot of you guys, this one will seem very familiar to you. Um, when you start nosing this one, tasting it, you're going to be like, I know this whiskey, what's going on here? But, but it's different. So on the nose, I'm getting like cedar wood and honey. Pipe tobacco. Leather. Oh, beautiful nose. <clears throat> And then lots of vanilla as well. On the palate. <clears throat> Charred oak. Marshmallow. Salted caramel. Beautiful, beautiful whiskey. This one's <clears throat> getting like white pepper and then that beautiful like peat smoke, unmistakable Lafroig. <clears throat> yes, from the Isle of Isla. This is a uh, Lafroig 10 year old, but not just your average Lafroig 10 year old. This is. <clears throat> Batch number 13 of the cask strength Lefroy 10 year old. I uh, purchased this at uh, again, once again, was from the BC Premium Spirits release, and it's bottled at 57.9% ABV. So the regular Lefroy 10 is usually bottled at 40 or 43% ABV, depending on the market. <clears throat> this one punch is way higher than that at 57.9 percent and it's in my opinion it's amazing i hope you guys enjoy it too um lefroy 10 is one of my all-time favorites has to be on everybody's shelf in my opinion but this cast strength is truly special so there's the first foray into the peated whiskeys of the calendar and uh in my opinion does not disappoint merry christmas you guys and i hope you enjoy day three Cheers.